Hey champions, Arian Tyson here. Feel free to like, comment, and share this video. I wanna ask you something as you go about your day today. I wanna ask you, what are you investing your time in? What are you investing in? Not just time, but your energy, money. What are you investing, what are you investing in? And I ask that for a reason, because whether you know it or not, you are investing time, energy, money. You're investing into something, even if you do nothing at all. What do I mean by that? I mean that you could be investing in your own laziness. You could be investing in so much and you can be investing in so little. But you have to ask yourself this question, and this is how a person with a business mindset, with the entrepreneurial mindset thinks. What is my return on investment? Am I getting a positive return on my investment? Because I can tell you this, there's a slim to none chance that you're not gonna get a positive return on on an investment sitting up watching TV six or seven hours a day but you could cut that down to maybe an hour or two max and use the other four or five hours to be productive because my mindset now is if it's not going to potentially make me money to be able to work and invest in my own personal development and reinvest into my business, I don't have time for it right now. I am a man on a mission. My lady and I, we are a couple on a mission. It is just that simple. Time is out for foolishness. Time is out for saying that you want something to, to change, but you're not willing to change. The only thing that stays the same is the word of God. Everything else must change because we are exposed to new experiences and new knowledge that was not previewed to us. So you can't stay the same. If I find myself going on a trip one minute and I'm flying coach and then I go on another trip and I'm flying first class or business class it's going to be a little difficult for me to accept flying coach after I've had that experience of flying first class if I go on a trip where I have to pay for everything then I go on another trip that's all inclusive A legitimate argument could be made that if it's not all inclusive, I'm probably not going to do it. Now, for me, I have not been on an all inclusive trip yet. But when I do, I'll let you know what, what my what my response is and what my opinion is. But the thing is. You have to ask yourself, what are you investing in? Are you investing in becoming a better man? Are you investing in becoming a better woman? Are you investing in becoming a better, a better student? Because it doesn't matter if you're 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68, 78. Lord willing, if you live to be 88. It doesn't matter because you are we are all students when it comes to something. And I am a firm believer, and I know this to be true, that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And so you have to keep learning. You have to keep investing. Don't just settle. Don't just get distracted by what somebody else have when you can have it too if you want it bad enough if you're willing to make the necessary adjustments to make the necessary sacrifices in other words if you're willing to make the necessary investments 
to get a positive rate of return. And you're going to have to excuse me because I have a business background. I have a business degree. So the vernacular that you're hearing is of a business and entrepreneurial mindset. So that's right up my alley. So just imagine what could happen if you just take, you make some minor tweaks that can have a major impact. So I want to hear from you. What tweaks or what adjustments can you make to get a, a positive return on your investment? And if you feel that this video is going to value, it's been a value to you and it's going to bless someone else, then feel free to like, comment, and then share this video. Because that's what it's about. Time is out for playing it safe. Time is out for settling for the mundane. You have greatness in you. And if you don't believe me, get around some great people. Get around some great people. And you will find out that you have a strength and power in you that you didn't know you had. The problem is you just never been around people that helped you tap into it. So you have no excuse now because you have an opportunity to experience that now. In life, you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.